Hello students today we shall learn lesson 15 fun with magnets students you must have all seen a pin holder in a bank have you ever observed pins in a pin holder do not fall even when it is held upside down why is this so or while we are shutting the door of a fridge we find that it closes automatically from a certain distance and does not open unless pulled again what must be the reason for this it is because a magnet is used in these gadgets a magnet is fitted in the cap of a pin holder and in the door of a fridge iron object stick to the magnet here you can see some materials made of iron nickel and cobalt so now let us see what is a magnet the material to which objects made from iron nickel cobalt etc get attracted is called a magnet and this property of a magnet to attract certain materials is called magnetism let's try this simple experiment to identify magnetic materials take a mixture of sand pieces of paper sawdust iron filings and pins in a saucer and pass a magnet round the mixture what do you see sand pieces of paper sawdust they do not stick to the magnet whereas iron filings and pins get attracted to the magnet and they come out of the mixture in the saucer that means the materials that stick to a magnet are called magnetic materials the example for magnetic materials are iron cobalt and nickel while those material which do not stick to a magnet are called as non magnetic materials Now let us see how this magnet was discovered. There is a legend about the discovery of magnets. It is said that a shepherd named Magnus lived in Greece. Once while his sheep were grazing, he sat down on a big rock. But what a surprise he got when he tried to get up. His staff and his shoes were stuck to the rock. He had to use great force to pull himself away from the rock. He realized that what had happened was because of the iron ferrule on his staff and the iron nails in his shoes however other rocks did not stick to his shoes or staff later he showed the rock to everybody the rock was named magnetite after magnus the shepherd magnetite is a natural magnet it is possible that the name magnet came from magnesia the part of greece where magnets were discovered Mariner's compass It was known quite long ago to the people in China and Europe that a piece of magnetite hung freely always settled in the north south direction These rocks then came to be used for finding the directions while traveling through unknown regions that is why they are also called load stones or the leading stones and this led to the invention of the mariner's compass Magnets can have a variety of shapes depending upon their use. Today, magnets are used in many machines and gadgets or devices. They are all man-made magnets. Here you can see various man-made magnets such as the bar magnets, disc magnets, horseshoe magnets, ring-shaped magnets, cylindrical magnets and also small button magnets are the different shapes of magnet in everyday use. magnetism when a magnet attracts an object that object is displaced due to the magnetic force in places like factories ports garbage depots large objects are shifted from place to place and for this purpose cranes with magnets are used here work is done by the magnetic force this shows that magnetism is a kind of energy now let us learn some characteristics of a magnet For this let us try this experiment tie a thread to the center of a bar magnet and hang it from a stand and note the direction in which the magnet settles and turn it around again let it settle down and note the direction do this many times what do you observe you will find that a magnet always settles in the north south direction poles of a magnet a magnet has two poles that is the north pole and the south pole as we have seen in the first characteristic which states that 
a magnet always settles in the north south direction so how we will come to know which is the north pole of a magnet the end of a magnet that points to the north direction is called the north pole of a magnet and the end of a magnet that points to the south direction is called as the south pole of a magnet you can try this place some iron filings on a sheet of paper and pass a bar magnet over them pick up the bar magnet by holding it in the center what do you see the iron filings stick to the both ends of a magnet it does not stick in the middle region hence we can see the second characteristic over here that is the magnetic force is concentrated at the two ends or poles of a magnet now let us learn the characteristics of magnetic poles let's try this take a bar magnet that can be cut with scissors or a knife take iron filings on a sheet of paper and place the magnet on it most of the iron filings will be seen to stick to its poles now cut the magnet into two pieces as shown in the picture and place those pieces on iron filings pick up each of the pieces and observe them what do you find if a magnet is divided into two parts two independent magnets are formed it means that two poles of a magnet cannot be separated from each other